Hello everyone, welcome back to ITPK. Today we are diving into Windows 11 version 25H2 and we will see exactly what's new, what's changing and whether it's worth upgrading immediately or no. Microsoft is delivering 25H2 as an enablement package, which means if you are already on Windows 11 24H2, there is no massive reinstall. The hidden bits just gets activated. Also, 25H2 and 24H2 now share the same servicing branch. So many of the latest features are rolling out to both versions via continuous update. Now let's talk about what's new. According to Microsoft official update history, 25H2 includes features and capabilities delivered via their continuous innovation pipeline that is now enabled by default in 25H2. The number one feature is AI and Copilot integration. Copilot is now even more integrated across Windows. It works with apps, settings and can appear in context sensitive areas like file explorer and settings. You can use it to summarize text, change system settings and open apps. Number two is Windows Recall AI memory feature. Microsoft is continuing to test the Windows Recall feature, an AI powered timeline that helps you find past activities. It's not enabled on all systems yet, but expected in this release cycle for supported devices with NPU chips. The number three feature is File Explorer Redesign. File Explorer now has a modern interface using WinUI 3 with some smoother navigations and better performance. The address bar and details pane have been redesigned and the gallery view is more responsive. Number 4 is Energy Saver Mode. A brand new Energy Saver Mode replaces Battery Saver and is now available for both laptops and desktop. It reduces background processes and helps lower power usage. Number 6 is Windows Backup App. Microsoft has added a Windows Backup App that lets you backup files, settings, apps and credentials directly to your Microsoft account. This makes you restoring or switching to new PC much easier. Number 7 is sudo for Windows. This is the developer's features. For developers, a new sudo for Windows command line tool has been added. It allows you to run elevated commands directly from any terminal window, just like on Linux. Number 8 is paint with AI and layers. Paint now includes background removal, layers, and co-creator and AI-powered image generation feature. This part of Microsoft AI refresh across the core apps. Number 9 is Photos App AI features. The Photos apps can now automatically blur backgrounds, detect people, and enhance lighting using AI. These tools are gradually rolling out across the regions. Number 10 is ClipChamp enhancements. ClipChamp now supports new templates, faster rendering, and higher resolution exports. It's designed for quick video creation with AI-assisted editing. Now let's see what's removed or deprecated features. Windows 11 version 25H2 removes some legacy components. Windows PowerShell 2.0 is no longer included in 25H2 and the legacy WMIC, Windows Management Instrumentation command line. This tool is also removed. If you have script or system that rely on the PowerShell v2 engine, update them to Windows PowerShell 5.1 or PowerShell 7 plus. Now here I want to share you some important information. Please note that not all features appear right after you update. Microsoft often enables them gradually through cumulative updates. So if you don't see them now, they will arrive automatically later. Now here is the bonus tip for you. If your PC isn't supported or you face any update issue, check out my dedicated video link in the card above and in the video description. It shows how to safely update unsupported system to 25H2. And that's all for the Windows 11 25H2 update and its new features. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe and share it with your friends. Also, all official references and Microsoft sources are linked in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.